You may have seen them on TV or at your local garden center. They are fairy gardens, and our own landscaping expert, Phil Steinhauer from Designscapes Colorado, is here to show us just how easy they are to make with things some of us may already have around the house. Sure, yeah. So what makes these so popular, Phil? You know, I don't know. This is kind of new territory for me, and in talking to our friends at Highlands Garden Center, where I got all this stuff they can't keep this stuff on the shelves seriously yeah, it, who's it, buying them who wants to make fairy gardens you know and then and also researching it's not just for kids old people if you have a limited space in an apartment sure these are miniature gardens but they just create a little bit of whimsy when you start to add the fairy element to it and then you know fairies have always been long-term associated in history with gardens and whimsy so well, let's get close-ups here while okay. we talk because I don't want people to miss any of these uh, elements and you know what I, the director tells me the fairies hiding so maybe I can get in here and move these Leaves so you can see they, the fairy. Maybe we put her right next. Oh to well, yeah, you can just put her anywhere you want her. Yeah, so Look she. Look at her. So again, some of the elements when you're building a fairy garden, you always want to have a house because a fairy needs a place to live and have protection. They like water, and then they're always attracted to flowers. So you want to kind of those are the three elements that almost every fairy garden okay, should have. Okay, a house. A house, and here's our house in this water, one. Water, and what was the third element? Uh, some flowers. Flowers. Because those attract their friends. So not like just butter, not just, just green yes. things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, here's one that was purchased. You want to start with a container. I'll kind of go fast down. Uh, on the very end here, and you want a low bowl or a box or an old crate could work. Um, if you if you don't have anything like that, you can buy this kit actually that oh comes with goodness. everything in it. Wow, um, fancy! And I think if we have time, we'll have you start to build maybe the okay. framework of one. All right. So um, what's the first step? Let's put. I think we want to have uh, a few bushes in ours, don't we? Okay. And so we're going to kind so of... So a low growing a plant low, would be a bush yeah, for so the fairy? Exactly. And I okay. think that one's a little taller, so we'll put him right back there. All right. And then I think maybe one of these low creeping times would be great for... So these are not even fun. expensive plants, are they? No. And, and herbs work well, succulents work well. You kind of want to make sure you put the same kind of light requirements uh, when you're choosing your plants. All right, we're and down to our last minute here, Phil. How about a couple step stones? Stepping stones. So, or if you had flat rocks. Yeah, and you I've could shown use those. some gravel or some jewels. Okay. Again, how about another step stone? Oh, those are kind of wide steps for my little fairy, aren't they? And then they? we need a, a structure. Would you like an arbor? Oh, I, I, I love this. This is okay. great. That is so pretty. Can you see this little arbor that's going in there? And then we'd maybe want to put another little bit taller plant, I think, right a back there. A little fern there. of some Cause sort. Because, again, we need a place for the fairy to hide. Okay. And if you had a lot of room, you could put in a taller plant like these to be a tree. Yes, exactly. Okay. And then I cut out this little piece of sphagnum moss for maybe a little piece of grass. Check that out. That is so cute. And you could put that right next it to it. It just your... lays there. And are these like weatherproof? Can these stay out in the cold? Well, these are all interior plants. Okay. The one I've chosen today, but you can do one with an out door theme, you know, where you're using plants that survive outdoors. Wonderful. And then you probably need to add your fairy. Add a fairy. There she is. See how easy? Wonderful. Thank you so much, Phil. Sure. Anybody can do this or, you know, plan ahead and get them ready for gift giving. I was going to say, this would be a great kif uh, Christmas project with kids. I um, agree with you. So for uh, grand grandparents or even mom yeah. and dad. Hide it somewhere in the house, but make sure you water it. All right, thanks so much, Phil.